So let's start with having our feet flat on the floor. Nice deep breath in as we bring the hands overhead. And breathing out. Let's do that two more times. Deep breath in. And breathing out. Again, breathing in. And breathe out. Let's bring the shoulders back, bring the hands back as well to feel that through the shoulders, working on posture here. Again, bringing the hands back. As much as you can, bring those shoulders back. And resting the hands on the knees. Let's bring one arm back, stretching it as much as you can, feeling that through the shoulders and back down. Switching to the other side. And back down. Again, other side. And then with the other arm, stretch it back as well. Coming back in front, switching sides. And each time you do this, breathing in as well, opening up the chest and breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's bring the hands back, feeling that through the shoulders again. And hands back down on the knees. Stretching the arms back. And back down to the knees. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's bring one knee up. You can either have the hands behind the knee or in front of the knee, depending on what works best for you. And bringing the foot back down. Other side, stretching that leg up as much as you can. And back down. Again, switching sides. And back down. Switching sides. And back down. This one just having one hand on the outside of the knee and twisting back, trying to feel the stretch through your back. Continue to hold. And now coming forward, switching to the other side. And coming forward. So going into a cat cow, I'm just turning my chair so you can see. So we're going to round the back, pushing our back out, looking down at our lap to stretch out the lower back, and then looking up to the ceiling and chest being proud. Going back into that stretch. And then looking up to the ceiling again. Hands going down to the knees, pushing the back out. And then looking up to the ceiling. Coming back into neutral position, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. So bring one foot forward, trying to have that leg fairly straight, leaning onto the other leg, trying to keep your back flat and leaning forward as much as you need to to really feel that stretch in your leg that is straight. Coming out of that stretch, switching sides.
and coming out of that stretch. So bring the knees wide, as wide as you can to stretch out the inner thighs. You can push the knees out a little bit more with your hands, focusing on breathing as well. And then leaning into the one leg with the other arm, you're pushing that leg out. So you're kind of leaning your shoulder forward. Switching to the other side. So pressing that shoulder forward, pushing the knee out. And coming out of that one. Bring the knees back in together. So into our figure four stretch. So ankle up onto the knee. If you can lean forward as far as you can to feel that stretch through your thigh and through your glutes and your lower back. When you're ready, switch to the other side. And coming out of that stretch, feet back on the floor. We're going to bring one leg up in the same position that we had before, but this time just putting your toes onto the floor. It's really going to change the stretch. You're going to feel that in the front of the leg. And then switching feet. And coming out of that one, bring one leg out to the side, trying to get it as straight as you can. And then you can put your weight onto the other leg above the knee, not on the knee, and just trying to stretch out the inner thigh again. And then switching to the other side, bring the leg in first before you bring the other leg out. and then bringing that leg back in again. So as much as you can, try and bring the one leg back underneath the chair and then bring your body back a little bit to feel that stretch through the front of your leg. Switching to the other side. If you don't feel it, just lean back a little bit more and I'm sure you'll feel it through the front. Coming out of that stretch. So just bringing the hands forward, feeling that stretch through your upper back.
bring one arm up, reaching as high as you can to the ceiling to really feel that stretch. And then switching to the other side. So it's not just a matter of bringing your arm up, but really pressing that hand up as high as you can. And bringing that arm back down, rotating the wrists other direction and then pressing the hands forward just pulling the fingers back slightly you feel a nice stretch through the wrist and then switching sides And then pressing your hands out to the sides. And then palms up to the ceiling and then pulling your fingers down towards the floor to stretch out the biceps. And then reaching in one direction Coming back to center, reaching in the other direction. Coming back to center again. Over to the other side. And back to center. Bring the arms down. Nice deep breath in as you bring the arms overhead. And breathe out as you bring the hands to the chest. Again, nice deep breath in. Bring the hands down in prayer pose. Last time, big breath in. And breathe out and think of something that you're grateful for and keep that in your mind. Let's just bring that ear to the shoulder, finishing off with some nice neck stretches. And then head back to center and then ear to the other shoulder. Head back to center, looking up gently to the ceiling and then looking down at your lap and holding. Looking in front again, finishing with looking over your shoulder. Come back to center and looking over the other shoulder. back to center. Just dropping your ear down to your shoulder again. It's really good to focus on neck stretches. And if you want to intensify that stretch, you can bring your hand out and press down to the floor. Head back to center, other side, pressing down to the floor. back to center again. Shoulders coming back. And that is it. Thank you for joining me. Wishing you a great day everyone.